Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to jump into the topic of should you or should you not let your trades run all day? Now, I'm going to give you some specific examples. This is a, a highly contested topic. People are on both sides of the fence. Some like to scalp day trades and pick up money when you've got it. Others like to let them run all day and see how big of a move they can get. But recently I was back testing my strategy and a lot of you know I like to play breakouts from the pre-market and I was just looking at a few examples of what would have happened if I would have just let my trades run all day versus subjectively getting out maybe when a structural pattern is broken or you see volume come into the market. And I just wanted to show a few examples here and just kind of get your thoughts on this. So if you have thoughts on running all day versus taking quick scalps, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. But let's dive into just a few examples. So I like to trade AMD every single morning. I play it short. Um, I like to use this range of this candle. I like to get in below the low here. And then typically I like to just get a move that's one R or greater. And then I like to move to break even. But then I like to subjectively, and this is a change I've made recently, is I like to get out of a trade when the conditions change or something happens and I feel like the markets are coming against me. Which in this example, if we go to April 12th of this year, you can see I would have been entered below this low. We would have dropped really well and I would have been able to move my stop to break even and then just sort of waited it out. And we would have had this candle come back this candle show kind of a little hammer doji and then we drop hard again but we can't break this level. Then we get rejected. Now that rejection candle, if I were subjectively looking at this, and hindsight is, is obviously skewed, but my guess is this candle would have probably scared me out of things. I probably would have waited into this candle and saw this doji and thought, you know what, two little quick bottoms and a hard rally out I'm going to jump out. And I would have taken, you know, maybe a 1R winner. But what if I would have just let this run all day and not taken it off? Just move my stop to break even like I like to do. That way I'm helping manage losses and then just let it run. Well, it would have challenged here, 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 and then it would have sold off the rest of the day. And I just want to do the quick calculation because it's important to see the difference. So the range on this the way I would have played this, it would be the range of this candle plus 10 cents. So let's call it 49 cents as my risk level. Now, the low on this candle is 82.05, and I like to enter a nickel below, so we'll call it $82 even. And then let's go to the closing print right here. They closed at 78.62, so I'll subtract that, 78.62, and that gives $3.38 move from my entry to the closing print. Because one thing, it's, it's tough when people say, I would have gotten out down here. But without a specific reason as to why you would have gotten out down there, there's no way to make that consistent. And that's what day trading is. Consistency. That's all it is. Doing the same thing every single day. So the closing print came in. We got $3.38. And I know that the range of this candle plus 10 cents is my risk, so 49 cents. You can see if you look right here where it says R, that's the range. So the range is 39 plus 10 is 49. So I'm going to divide the 338 by 49 cents, and that would have been a 6.89 R move. I'm currently trading a $300 R, so I multiply that by $300, and that would have been a $2,069 day if I would have held to the closing print. Now, I totally understand when people say, yeah, but what about when you get a, a move and then you get rejected? And that happens. Here's my defense on that topic. Let's find an example of that. So if I scroll around here, let's find a spot where we get rejected, where maybe we get a good move and then it just goes against us. And I had a few in here. Okay, let's use this one right here. This is on May 6th. This was just a few days ago. So you can see, let's, you've got an entry candle here. Let's say you were able to get this entry short and you've got the move down here. Okay, so you're looking at a multiples of this candle. This could be two to three R's, and let's see. So 24 cents is the range. 
So 34 cents. So let's take the low, 77.41, minus the low of this candle, 76.47. So that's 94 cents. And then if we divide that by the range, which is 24 cents, plus 10 cents, so divided by 34. So that would have been a 2.76R move, which is a great day. Totally get that. But I would have moved to break even, and then we would have got stopped out for break even. So my defense on, yeah, but what happens if it bounces back and goes against you? And I guess what I would say is I would have hopefully moved to break even. I would have if, if price action would have gone 1R in my favor. So if I get a 1R move, I move to break even. So if I do get this rejection, yes, I end the day flat. No win, no loss. And yes, I did give up positive P&L that I had. I totally get that. But the thing you have to think about is, how much more are you going to gain? So for example, this move right here, this one here, you got a gorgeous move down. And then this, after such a big move, if I would have seen this big hard candle come up, I probably would have been tempted to get out at 77. So let's do this calculation. If that's 77 and our entry would have been at 7805, that means it's a dollar five where we would have gotten out, okay? And the range is so dollar five divided by the range, which is 35, means it would have been a three R move. Excellent day. However, what if we would have taken this low of 7805 entry and subtract the closing print, 7598? Now we're looking at 207. And if I divide that by the range of the candle or the stop loss, which is 35 cents, now we're looking at almost six R's. So I nearly doubled my day just by moving to break even and letting the trade run for the whole day, not being spooked. Maybe putting the trade on, having the stop in place, closing the platform, and going for a walk or a run or doing something else with your day, knowing that about 30 minutes before the close, you need to get back to your computer, see where things are so that you can close it out. Because this almost closed, it almost closed low print of the day. So you're looking for those big moves. I like to um, check in with the guys over at Real Life Trading. They have a great YouTube channel. They put out a lot of content. They do a lot of um, education on the R system. And I'm a big fan of the R system. So I was checking in, watching a few videos, um, learning how they manage trades. And the guy made a comment that was really interesting. I think it was Matt DeLong who said this. He said, if, or I guess it was Jeremy Alexander Newsom who made the comment. He said, if you always take a 2R winner, you'll never get a 5R winner. If you take a 5R winner all the time, you always take 5Rs, you'll never make 10Rs. If you, if you always take 10R, you'll never make 20R. So that kind of opened me up to thinking about the bigger moves, the bigger picture, but still being defensive by moving to break even. So if you get a nice move, move to break even. If you're up 5, 6 R on a trade and you want to take a partial profit, there's nothing wrong with that either. So maybe you take a quarter off down here, move to break even, let the trade run for the day. You just need to make sure it's a consistent thing every day. I like the idea of taking a quarter off. Because then three quarters of the position can still move and make you a lot of money if you keep moving to the downside. Um, so it's something to consider. I've just seen time after time again um, where, you know, I say with my strategy, I hate it because I get whipped around a lot sometimes and that causes me to, to, to be down on it at times and think, you know, is this really working well enough? How can I make this perform even better? Because a lot of you know I was going to our targets all the time. But I was noticing that the trade would often run beyond two R's. So the question that opened up in my head was, how do I capture those bigger moves without sacrificing much from, from the system? And I think that's a great way to do it, is to, if you want to, take a little piece off. Like maybe you get down here, you take a little piece off, you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to get out for a minute. And then it goes the rest of the day. At least you took a little bit of profit, you manage your risk, you move to break even, and you just let the trade go, and it becomes almost a little less stress involved because you know you aren't closing until the closing print. 
So you could create a system where you said, all right, if I see my PL up 4R or more at any time during my trade, I can take a quarter off and then I can't touch it until the closing print, until the last five minutes of the day or last 15 minutes right in here. So maybe this big push down, I saw myself up, um, let's see, this one was 45 cents. Um, let me just calculate this one real quick. The low, um, 81.75 minus this close, 78.55. 320, and I divide that by my range, which would have been 45. So that comes out to 7.11 Rs. So, yeah, if you can take a little bit here, um, with this low being the 81.75 minus, let's say, let's just call it $80, okay? Minus 80. That gives you $1.75 divided by the range. So this is a 5R move right here. This is a big day for me. So taking a quarter off or a partial position off at 5R, nothing wrong with that. Then you move your stock to break even, and then you just let it run. If you end up on the low print of the day, wonderful. If you don't, maybe you still claim some profit in here. You know, Even if this meandered back a bit, you still would have taken profit here and here and call it a winning day. So this is something for you to think about. Drop me a comment below. Let me know if you let your trades run all day or if you prefer the scalp, take the money you have, and don't worry about the rest of the day. Thank you for stopping by. Great to see you. And we'll see you next video.